Drive the enemy forces back to their headquarters. You know, I used to not have to care about what happened in the skies, but now... It's Revenge of the Stuka. Hey guys, welcome back to the video. So, we've got two variants of the Stuka that are worth investigating. We've got the Stuka B1 and the Stuka B2. If we check out the B2 real quick, we're going to see what we've unlocked here. So, this was the hardest plane to unlock in all the planes. And the reason is because you can get feel like you've been completely disabled from being able to kill anything. As you go down this tree, once you unlock the mine drop, it replaces your bombs. Which means when you want to kill tanks, and this is hilarious, when you want to kill tanks... You have to kill them using Mind Drop really in a tedious way. I'll show you what that looks like right now. All right, guys, we need to figure out where the hell they spawn their tank. Let's just keep dropping mines at the entrance. It's got a long reload, though. <laughs> Vehicle destroyed with the mines. I don't know, we just dropped our mines there. Yes! <laughs> Alright guys, watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm literally planting my bombs at their spawn. Damn it. Yes. There's two tanks here that are trying to leave their spawn and they're struggling because of my mines. But the reload time means they're going to win. They're going to get out of there. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's a complete lo it's a complete minefield in the base. And then you want to get unlock these 37 mm cannons. They're basically amazing, right? They're really good at killing both infantry tanks and aircraft. They're, they're supposedly good at everything. The specialization's up to rank 4 when we've unlocked these 37 mm cannon pods. I don't know if I'm calling it that what it's actually called. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But I remember this thing from the beta. I haven't even shot it yet for the first time. That sounds powerful and I'm being harassed by AA. Oh my god. I, I'm really scared actually that I'm going to die because this. I feel really lucky right now that I can actually <laughs> fly this thing right now. Damn AA. But we, I cannot wait to try this out. Look, check it out. <laughs> What's with the audio? So that's what it looks like. Oh man. It looks beastly. These cannons, man. Apparently, in real life and in the game, they're supposed to take out tanks. They're making all sorts of sound glitches. What is going on? Dice, please. What's with the sound glitches? Oh, I better back up my wingman here. Or oh, I'm going to be next. Oh, well, I hit him for 34 with the cannon pods. I'm going to defend my Stuka here. Otherwise, I'm next. That's all I know.
Oh, I couldn't hit him. I couldn't hit him. Come on, man. Let's get him. Anyway, I'm sure that Spitfire killed my wingman, which means I'm in trouble. Anyway, let's try and actually use these cannon pods on a bunch of infantry. I can't wait, dude. Cannot wait. There is an AA gun in there somewhere. It has got some power. Oh my god. Yes, we won. Just about with four health. That is the addition of the Spitfire. It's so powerful. It completely... It's got those eight... Um, eight machine guns mounted on the wings that just completely destroy anything that comes into contact with it. And the BF-109, if I haven't already released the video, has got some sweet gear as well. Once you max unlock that one as well. you got to check it out. Anyway, we've got to play with a Stuka. Now, why was this the hardest plane for me to max rank? Let me tell you, guys. Let me tell you why. And it all starts with the fact that your bombs get replaced with anti-tank mines. Nick, how on earth does this thing have anti-tank mines? I've got it equipped now because you can't... You have no choice. You have to have anti-tank mines. Look, I'm just dropping some anti-tank mines. Like, on the road. Great. Great stuff. But, I don't have any bombs. And the only way to get these cannon pod thingies is to lose your bombs in place of anti-tank mines. Oh my god. I need to go high and dive into this trench. Look at that, dude. <laughs> I'm going to absolutely annihilate this trench any second now. Dice, I can't wait for you to fix this sound glitch, though. This is one of two variants of the Stuka. The other variant is a dive bomber, right? And I'll show you why if I haven't already done so. I've overheated my weapon, dude. It's so hard to tell with that audio glitch. Oh my god, this is hard because I can't identify my targets. Come on, where's the targets? It's so hard to see any. In the trench. Oh yeah, the trench! <laughs> we got a whole ton of kills in there. Let's go back to that trench. Where was it? It was here. We found a single kill. It's really annoying me, this sound glitch. Not good. Oh man, the biggest weakness here is the Spitfire. Man, that was crazy. That was a cool cinematic. We got a double kill. Alright, let's go for on top of the bridge. They're bound to be there. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Let's shred. Let's use them to shred this bomber. Vehicle hit 20 in total. I think that's good. Oh, the bomber! <laughs> he, <came a> <laughs> he hit the bridge and did not explode. Brilliant. <laughs> we found a double kill. Nope. That was the coolest cinematic. Alright, that's an anti-air truck. But this... Okay, first time we could test on a truck. Oh no, it was stationary. It was just a stationary. 
So if, if we can take this sector, the enemy get tanks, and we can actually test these pods on the tanks. So I'm looking forward to that. Right, where was that anti air? Oh, yes, it's that tank. We did a lot of damage to that tank, I think. We'll just get some distance. And then get him again. Alright, we've, we've destroyed it, did we? No, we didn't destroy it, so... I don't know how good it is against armoured vehicles. If I couldn't even do two strafing runs on it, then the competition for going after v tanks... You know, there's much better armaments for doing it. Come on, guys. We can capture this. Let me just give you that air support that you need. No. I want to see how powerful these guns are on the tank. They're not, I'm not going to lie. That is a light tank. Someone told me that these were designed to kill tanks. And I'm sorry, mate. They really are not doing well against tanks. I'd rather take the other variant of the Stuka, which we'll show you in a sec. Right, we did vehicle hit 40, so it's going to take maybe two or three passes to kill a tank. And it's only a light tank. They're really good at killing both infantry tanks and aircraft. They're, they're supposedly good at everything. But when it comes to tanks, you're nowhere near as effective at killing a tank as you are with the 1,000 kilo bomb. Because this requires two to three passes, the 1,000 kilo bomb. And the other variant requires one pass. So, that's the difference. I mean, I don't know what else you'd rather do on this variant. If you went down the left side, you could get 4 times 50 kilo, which is significantly less than 1,000. And you could get the spotting camera, which I guess would allow you to identify targets and drop them precisely. But I think the reason you're coming to this Duke variant is for these 2 times 37 millimeter cannons. And it would be a shame to not get them. So I don't get it. I, you'd go down this path here, basically. But the preferred variant of the two is the Stuka B1 because of the 1,000 kilo bomb. So you go down the left side of the tree, you've got the 50 kilos times four again, the dive breaks, and 1,000 kilo. The, this is just a field repair up here. It doesn't really, it's not, doesn't really warrant any attention. It's pretty boring. The 1,000 kilo is, can kill a tank, basically, with one hit if you land on target. The Stuka. Oh, it's back, baby. But this time, we have got a max upgraded Stuka with dive brakes and a thousand kilos of awesome power. Let's drop it on a tank. <laughs> Let's drop this bad boy on a tank. We, I'm assuming dive brakes are engaged as soon as you pull back on the throttle. Like right now, we'd be falling a lot quicker if it wasn't for the dive brakes. That guy's dead. That is a huge explosion from the 1,000 kilo. We completely overkilled that one infantry we saw. Well, let's go and get another bomb and kill a tank, man. I just didn't know where the tanks were. Oh, by the way, I've also got 450 kilos. I could have dropped everything as I was descending there, but I didn't because I didn't realize I had all these payloads on board. Oh, man, this is so exciting. Anyway, I'm looking. All right, is that a tank? Yeah, that's a tank. See you later, tanky. Oh my god, I dropped everything. Next time, I'm going to keep my dive breaks and I'm just going to watch the bombs in first person view. That's going to be a sick view. Can't wait to do that. Let's get these bombs, man. And that siren as well. That's a beautiful siren. They've made it louder since the beta. Thank god, because I did feel like it was a bit quiet in the beta. What I've noticed was actually when I was trying to upgrade the Stuka, it was a real grind to unlock it because... Without the upgrades, it's really hard to get kills, actually. But now with the upgrades, I'm killing like it's nothing. But... My point is... As we scan for infantry down here, I'm seeing infantry down here. I don't know, I didn't... We got a kill. <laughs> but I didn't really see any infantry there. And what my point was, was the siren... Oh my god! I don't know if it's a bug, but the siren, when you're at low altitude, which you are a lot of the time, 
the siren just stays on. I haven't really demoed it on this map here because I'm purposefully trying to stay at high altitude. But I was just constantly telling all the infantry to look at me and shoot me and they were always in an AA gun in response. It was so frustratingly hard to unlock. Oh my god. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh man, I need a tank though. I want another tank. Oh, is that a tank? Yes, we can play with a tank. We can play with a tank, in a way. <laughs> it was just a transport. <laughs> Poor guy. He had almost no armor versus a thousand kilo. Some tanks can stomach a thousand kilo when it's not a direct hit. You know, if they're just in like the blast radius. The heavy tanks, I've noticed, can survive. Alpha looks like it might be taken right now. That's a tank. It's a light car and a tank, maybe. Right there by the house, but I'm stalling. Come on, what is this stall? Get out of this stall, man. Now I have no idea where it is. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. So the only way to do Stuka dive bombing is to identify a target before you climb. It's really frustrating. Right, right here. Right on the flag is a, is a vehicle. Is he on the move? We're going to dive him. Oh, he's on the move now. He's heading... Is that north? He's heading up. <laughs> Let's dive on him. He's somewhere down here now. That's a thousand kilos. I just dropped a thousand kilos on his face. Let's find another tank. Am I, I'm seeing a tank here. He's, he's here, he's here. He's heading to B. So let's go dive bomb him now on B. So all we can do is we have to be at low altitude before we can identify them. Let's just keep going up. Really? We're being harassed? Get out of here, dude. Where is he? He's somewhere at B now, but I'll have no idea where he is at B. At this altitude. Right, who's shooting me? I'm gonna just drop my thousand on this on this guy shooting at me. And all my other bombs. Right, whoever was shooting at me, we killed him at a high altitude. <laughs> we just got a ton of a ton of score as well. That was cool. So the thing is, right, the Stuka, you can also have a thousand kilo bombs with the Yunkers 88 and you actually get two of them in the Yunkers 88 but you, you can't drop them both at the same time you have to reload it and on the Yunkers you get so many more payloads as well so the only advantage this has over the Yunkers well I don't know I'm trying to think what advantage this has over the Yunkers if I was going to choose a plane I would probably choose the Yunkers instead of this so I think DICE need to do something to incentivize us to use this other than it's Iconic value, you know, it's his history Iconic value. We need more than that Let's scan scanning 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 for targets Anti-air anti-air. Oh my god Where are you? Where are you? Thousand on your head thousand on your head Yeah, three man kill as well cool very cool Bro, that's a thousand kilos on your head. What are you gonna do? That's a big explosion, bro. All right, let's keep it up. More tanks. Any tanks? Oh, yeah. Here we go. There's a... It looks like a, a light tank leaving their spawn. Let's try and get him. There he is. It's going to be a real sexy little drop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. There, let's drop it on that house. Let's follow the bomb down. Let's watch this. <laughs> that was cool. I mean, that house pretty much doesn't exist anymore. It can kill a tank basically with one hit if you land on target. And it would be nice to have the high altitude package as well, but then you have to remove the Jericho trumpets. And that kind of removes the iconic value of even flying the Stuka in the first place. Let's say you actually remove the Jericho Tumpets, got your high altitude package, and then down here to 1,000 kilo. Then, you may as well be flying the Yunkers 88, which has 2,000 kilos on board rather than just the one. 
And yeah, I don't. See, and not only that, the Younger Zay has so much more firepower on board as well. You can. It actually comes with <laughs> three different sets of payloads. It's also got the <laughs> carpet bombing of 32 times 50 kilo, and the Junker ZJ has also got 250 pounds times four. So you'd never want to remove all iconic value of this Stuka, in my opinion, because then you're left with no no reason to fly in the first place. You may as well be flying the Junker ZT8 for to be more effective. So yeah, that's my review of the Stuka right now. It's cool. But I'd rather fly the Yonkers 88 if I want to kill things. <laughs> Should we fly through the bridge? Let's try flying through the bridge. And dropping our bombs on the way out, maybe. The little bombs, of course. Because if we drop the 1,000 kilo, we are sure to be dead. <laughs> We're actually going up? What? <laughs> He's like, what? He doesn't care. <laughs> He's just walking past me. He doesn't care. What? Hello. I'm a guy you can kill. 